Hello everyone, if you're watching this video, that means that you're interested in learning if hotshot is actually worth it or not. Now hotshot trucking is something that's definitely unique and it's something that a lot of people are interested in getting started in this whole trucking industry. Now before we actually decide is it worth it or not worth it, we have to first determine, hey, what is actual hotshot trucking? So hotshot trucking by definition is the ability to transport smaller loads in a much faster time frame in a smaller environment. Now, is that usually how hotshot trucking works? Not all the time. We're going to give you the pros and cons to hotshot trucking on exactly what you should be thinking about it and whether you should start off there or just go and get your CDL license and start with the big boys just like this right over here. All right? So if you watch all the way to the end, you'll have all the information that you need to know to see if hot truck trucking is worth it for you. So let's get right into it. So hotshot trucking is going to be usually look something like this. There's going to be a pickup truck with some type of trailer behind it. So technically this is going to be called the medium duty truck, which is your bigger size pickup trucks to make sure that you can actually transport weight. Now the biggest barrier when it comes to hotshot trucking is you have a weight restriction, which means you cannot uh, carry anything when it comes to truck, trailer plus load that's more than 26,000 pounds. Once you do that, then you're in that CDL regulation and you're gonna to need to have a CDL license. Now, if the tractor and the trailer plus the load can weigh more than 26,000 pounds uh, and you have your CDL license, you're good to go. But let's talk about what hotshot trucking is. So hotshot trucking was designed to, usually it's going to be a small load, which means less than a full trailer load, of, or other words is gonna be LTL, right? And sometimes you'll see things like car carriers, so maybe you'll have two or three car carriers behind there, or maybe you have something, something special that one in particular customer wants, right? Uh, you can pretty much uh, get any, anything that you can imagine, I'm sure, has been transported in a truck. Hotshot trucking is one way to kind of get that done. Now, what are the benefits of hotshot trucking? One is you can start off with no CDL license, right? Two is gonna be the startup cost might be a little bit cheaper. Uh, which means that all you really need to do is purchase yourself a nice pickup truck that has a good amount of power plus a pull-along trailer. That compared to having a whole big tractor and trailer is going to be overall cheaper. All depends on how new of a pickup truck you're going to go after. Now the downsides are going to be most of the time people who drive the hotshot pickup trucks there's not going to be as consistent amount of work. Because it's more of a specialized skill set, you can charge a little bit more, but it's going to be like feast or famine, which means you're not going to be busy all the time. So depending on the lifestyle that you want to deal with, it depends on whether hotshot trucking will be good for you. If you want something that's going to be consistent and make sure that you're getting consistent money every single week, every single month, hotshot trucking might not be the best option because the lower barrier to entry and the less, less work that's out there. Now there is a good amount of work out there, but when you're com competing with so many people who have that same exact setup, then it makes it much more difficult for you. The other thing that limits you with hotshot trucking is that usually, yeah, you pick up trucks, you can I technically go across the state lines or go from one side of the country to the other, but it's definitely not the most efficient way to get it done. Also, you have to understand the pickup trucks that are designed for pickup trucks are usually not designed to be carrying all that weight 100% of the time. Pickup trucks are designed to be an everyday use vehicle, which means that the brakes aren't designed correctly to stop all that weight when you're always busy going up and down these hills. That's why these bigger tractor trailers actually have the ability to make sure that everything's running smoothly and all the parts are designed for that reason itself. So that being said, it will give you a smaller startup cost, but however, the maintenance might cost a whole lot more on a pickup truck or a hot shot truck setup uh, versus a tractor trailer setup simply because they were not designed for that, right? Now, let's talk about economics in pure English. When you're driving a pickup truck with a car carrier trailer, as an example, you can probably max that out at about three different cars. So that means you have three different sources of revenue that you're gonna make money on those three cars. Now, say you're gonna go for the tractor trailer side. So say you actually have a whole tractor trailer and you got your CDL. When it comes to cars itself, you can get nine different cars, which means that's three times the amount of money that you can make in a tractor trailer versus an actual uh, hotshot. Now the question is, is it gonna be three times the amount of expense? No, biggest expense is gonna be labor, right? So whether it's you driving, which is your own labor, or you put an employee, that's gonna be the biggest expense, which is pretty much the same amount because there's gonna be about the same amount of time. 
but you can actually transport a whole lot more, which means you make a whole lot more money. So if you're deciding, hey, I want to get into this trucking field, I know it's growing, I know that there's a huge demand, a huge need, should I start off with hot shot trucking or should I just get my CDL license and actually just go on the road and drive those big tractor trailers? My recommendation is go get your CDL license because when you do get your CDL license, you have the option for both. You can decide, yeah, I'm going to go with a hot shot trailer, a hot shot trucking, but I don't have any weight limit restrictions on it. Or you can just decide, hey, I'm going to go work for a company or start my own trucking company and kind of expand that way. Now, if you want to play a small game, maybe hot shot trucking is the best way for you to go. Maybe you want to be your own boss and make, make some money for you. But if you want to play a little bit bigger game, if you want to live a little bit better of a lifestyle, then I definitely recommend going for the big boys simply because you can transport a lot more. There's a whole lot more work available, so you're working consistently, no big deal. And you do, you're driving in vehicles that are designed to do the work that you want. So like I said, if you want to live a better lifestyle and make sure that you're able to drive more vehicles and make more money and be more consistent with it, getting a CDL Class A and driving the big truck trailers is the way you want to go. Now in order to get a CDL license, there's a two-step process. Step number one, you first have to pass a few different written tests to get yourself a CDL permit. Step number two, you're going to have to pass a two and a half hour long road test to get your actual license. That being said, we have what we call a guaranteed training course. That's right, here at Driving Academy, we are guaranteeing you that you walk away with your CDL license. And how that works is, we're gonna give you over 100 hours of training, plus unlimited tries at the road test, so you keep going for the test until you pass at no extra cost to you. All you need to get started is $500 down, and you wanna make sure you lock yourself in today because there is news out there that the test is going to be changing later on this year. So you want to lock yourself in before things get even harder. Give our team a call at 908-525-3609 or check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.